Subscribers, welcome back. This series of... Enough with the clubbing light. Oh gosh, teacher needs to teach. This lesson you're about to learn comes originally from our premium courses. There were about three to four lessons there in premium courses. So I decided to just take one lesson to give you an idea what our subscribers at premium courses enjoy. So the premium courses is undergoing a promo now because if you check out the price, this was the original price. Look at the promo price now. And also, if you subscribe to premium courses last year, in March, April, May 2020, you are entitled to this price. And this price is for the whole year. All right, back to our lesson about green screen. Uh, sorry, man. I, I didn't know she was there. I mean, okay. This series of lessons, realistic green screen photography. This is the lighting diagram and based on the camera's info, I reckon that this flash that I set up here should be about 1 over 32 and the zoom of maybe 35 or 28. So I'm going to set up both flashes exactly the same and aim it to the green screen. Let's go to the front and take a shot without our subject and see how the green turns out. And when you see this, this is just too dark on the green. Increase the power here. So I'm going to bring this up to 1 over 16. And still, it's underexposed. So if you look at this histogram, it's still not good enough. We want the green screen speak to be in this column here. This would be better. So what do I do now? Don't ask. <laughs> not yet. What I want you to do is just stand here and then face there first. I'll tell you what to do later when I turn on the music. I need to check Su Chi's exposure now with the camera settings that I use. So I'm going with ISO 100 f5.6 and a shutter speed of 160 or 200. And I want to get her exposure underexposed. So that fits exactly into that dark scene that we have here. But I know one thing, if the subject is too dark and there's no light on Su Chi at all, it will be very hard to extract her from the background. It will not look nice. You will be getting a bit of green screen spill. I'll show you what happens. I'll just take a flash, put this at about 1 over 16 of a power, bounce it there. I'm not going to add another umbrella. This is going to serve two purposes. The first one is just light it up a little bit and at the same time trigger the two flashes at the back. So, oh, there's one more thing. I'm going to set my focusing mode to AFC or servo, and then 3D tracking. So I just want you to just move a little bit, that's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's good. And one, two, and move a little bit more. Right, and go. This is just good. I like this. So you notice that this pic is the green screen, and the rest of this is just Suchi, and this is definitely Suchi's black dress and her hair. Even though Suchi's exposure is correct now, this doesn't even put her in the environment. Look at that beautiful pink light at the back. I'm gonna simulate that. And this is my favorite go-to gear when it comes to getting constant LED lights that's colored. So I'm gonna use two of these YC onion light tubes, put them together like this, and turn this on. Turn this one on too. As you can see, I've set the color to the same pink color that we have with the light at the back. I just want to show you this, that you can actually change color. Any hue that you want. You can actually do the same with this as well. So with the hue set correctly now, what's left for me to do now... Is so what do I do now? Wait. What's left to do now? Four things. Turn off the video light. And number two, turn off the studio's light too. Number three, give Suchi a short glass. And since it's a first date, fake whiskey. You are really cheap. And yeah, it's a first date. And music! Why this song? Why not? Dance, girl! Dance! Well, not too bad, I'm quite impressed. But I'm now wondering if I use a hot shoe flash with a gel, would it even look more realistic than this constant LED light? 
Well, instead of using the YC Onion LED light sushi, this time I've got a hot shoe flash here. Slap on with the gel, which is pink in color, then the power is not high at all. It's 1 over 64. But I'm doing something very important here, which you got to learn. I have the zoom head completely sitting inside the flash here. It's at a zoom of 105 millimeter. Hey, what does that do when you have your zoom so high? You got to head on to this e-learning. If an all access subscriber, head on to this e-learning because we are revamping the whole course here and you will see that playing with the zoom amount actually changes your light dramatically. And if you're a premium course subscriber, you should upgrade to all access. So head on to all access and click subscribe here. So that's it. I'm going to place this somewhere about here. And finally, to make this whole thing look realistic, where's your shot glass? It's okay. I got this. Cheapskate. Hey, and three, two, one, go. Why is that green? Anyway, if you take a look at these two photos, compare them side by side. This one shot with a YC onion light tube. And this one shot with a flash. Well, I think you can agree with me that this one looks more realistic. Simply because the light is stronger. When the light is stronger, it etches more color on Su Chi's face. So, I'll go with this. Oh, I want you to take a look at this version. This photo was done by my students a few years back. Wow, I couldn't tell. Great, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you do, head on to my website, show some love. Support my e-learning courses, the All Access account, the premium courses. And hey, do you know that we have this membership, exclusive membership in our YouTube channel? Click the join button. Show some love.